I want to go a little further with that restroom example. I'm not trying to be potty mouth by any means, but uh, it actually is a pretty decent example, in my opinion, about uh, locking and, and shared resources. I'm going to make a, a static function here, and it could be a non-static. It doesn't really matter. Static void. Uh, use restroom stall. A lot of the small restaurants we have around uh, work here um, have single stall restrooms because they're small restrooms. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing unless you're having a really bad day and then you want people, whoever, whoever is in the stall, to get out of the stall as fast as possible so you can get in. Anyway, I'm going to say, uh, let's do some output here. CW trying to uh, obtain the bathroom stall. And uh, let's actually, let's do thread. Dot, oh man, this is kind of long to type current thread dot manage thread ID okay so that thread ID is trying to obtain the bathroom stall again let's make a shared a uh, lot uh, baton here that the threads can use for coordination issues and to lock up lock on okay so I'm just making an object called baton uh, I'm gonna say lock the baton and uh, let's say CW thread dot current thread dot manage thread ID plus uh, obtained the lock doing my business you know hopefully your imagination doesn't go too far with that uh, let's do thread dot sleep and you know what we also let's also uh, make us a, a random object static random and oh look another piece of shared data <laughs> Uh, that the, I'm gonna have the thread share, but anyway, random ran. I'm gonna say ran dot next. I think it takes a max value if I remember. Yeah, so each thread will get in can take up to two seconds, but it'll be a random amount of time. So they'll get in, they'll do their business, they'll sleep for a random amount of time. Console right line thread dot current thread dot manage thread ID plus um, leaving the stall. Okay, so so they'll get in, they're gonna well, first of all, they wait for the lock. Once they have the lock, they say, hey, I obtained the lock. They do their business for a random amount of time, and then they say, I'm leaving the stall. And then right here, I'm going to say, console right line. Um, again, thread.current, thread.manage, thread ID. Um, this thread is leaving the rest, rest, um, the rest or rant. I always have a hard time remembering how to spell that one. Okay, so hopefully it's pretty straightforward. We have this method. I'm going to send several threads into this method at the same time. They're all going to lock the baton, share this baton object, um, and use it to coordinate who gets to actually use the bathroom stall or not. Uh, all right, so four. Let's let's do five threads. I'm going to say var thread. Well, I don't even need to make it. Let's just say new thread, and I can pass in use restroom stall as the entry point for that thread and then I'm going to say start. So let's get five threads going on there and let's see what, what the magic is. Control F5. Of course there's build errors because I'm running the program already in the background. From the previous video I'll close that. Run this. Okay, there we go. So watch the watch the output here as it unfolds. Kind of interesting to watch. Okay, now it's done. Uh, all right, so thread three, it looks like it's trying to obtain the bathroom stall. Thread three, obtain the lock, doing my business. While thread three is doing his business, thread seven, six, four, and five all lined up saying, saying, huh, let me in, knock, 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 hello, anybody in there? You know, are you done yet? And that sort of awkward situations that happen in the restrooms as, as we don't like, but they definitely happen. Uh, and then three decides, okay, I'm done leaving the stall. So then le three leaves the stall, and it doesn't have to happen this way. It just so happens that the time slice worked out that it, that three is also able to print. Hey, I'm leaving the restaurant as well. Okay, so then seven. Notice seven, seven uh, happened. It tried to obtain the lock before six, four, and five. Uh, so seven comes in, and then six, and then four, and then five. All right. So notice they they went in order that they tried to obtain the lock. All right, but. But it, but each one gets in. It's able to do its business, do the lock, and then once it leaves the stall, the next one's able to get in. All right now, it just so happens that on every run here, leaving the restaurant, leaving the restaurant, leaving the restaurant, 
yeah, this this is okay here, but but the the operating system could preempt as soon as this this thread comes out here and says, hey, I'm done using the bathroom stall. The operating system right here between uh, letting go of the lock right here and then doing this output, the operating system could have pulled this thread off and said, hey, you're done for now. I'm going to have another thread come in. Uh, that totally could have happened, but it just so happened that it didn't in the output that we had. Um, anyway, so there's, there's another example on locking. In the next video, I'm going to show you what lock really means. Let's desugarize it a little bit, show you what's really going on.